While it seems like there's some bright things on the horizon for the Brooklyn Nets, it seems like there's a big dark cloud still hovering over the New York Knicks. Well, last week, or whether it was might have been two weeks ago, Phil Jackson is now out as the New York Knicks president. And then after that, they've inked a four-year deal with Tim Hardaway Jr. On top of that, Keisha, David Griffin, the former Cavaliers general manager, has made the decision that he will not be joining the Knicks front office. Keisha, I ask you, is it a good move for the Knicks to go ahead and sign Tim Hardaway Jr.? Who made this decision, and would the Hardaway acquisition have happened if Phil Jackson was still at the helm? (sighs) Wow. Um, Who made the decision? I think Steve Mills is acting in that capacity, so he made the decision to bring Tim Hardaway Jr. on board. Was it a good move? I don't know. I feel like it's a very Knicks move. I mean, they they drafted Tim Hardaway Jr. Uh, a couple seasons ago and then decided they didn't want his services anymore and sent him to the Atlanta Hawks. And now they want him back. So, I, I, I don't know. It's it's just kind of very Knicks-like. But, and, and they, oh, I don't even know. It's, it's just mind-boggling some of the decisions that they make. But I will say to Tim Hardaway's credit that he has improved a lot from uh, when he was here with the Knicks. Uh, Atlanta, I I don't know if um, Kenny Atkinson, um, I don't know if Kenny Atkinson was on board at that point, but whomever was there really uh, nurtured him and allowed him to uh, grow his skills. So I don't think it's necessarily a bad one. I wouldn't pay that much money for him. And I think the Knicks have just, just, just keep bungling stuff. It, they had the press conference interview uh, uh, introducing Hardaway, well, I guess reintroducing, because he's been here before, reintroducing Tim Hardaway Jr. as a Nick, and he was there by himself. No Jim Dolan, James Dolan, no Steve Mills, no Coach Hornacek, nobody there. It's just Tim Hardaway on himself. And I was reading a quote according to uh, Tim, I think it's Tim Popper. They, he said that Tim Hardaway Jr. said that Um, when they were going to sign him, they told him that, you know, all he needed to do was improve on offense and defense. And I'm probably paraphrasing this. So (laughs) I'm like, you just can't make this stuff up. So, I mean, I don't know, Mike, you tell me. Well, another, (laughs) well, you know, I I forgot to mention, they also did uh, earlier today, they made the decision to bring back earlier in the week, they made the decision to bring back Ron Baker. So that's another thing where they'll be, hopefully be able to improve a little bit. But it's, yeah, I mean, the Knicks are just a circus act right now. It's a complete mess. Um, you know, we talk a lot about the Brooklyn Nets and the New York Knicks and how both of them have been struggling over the, the last several seasons or so. But like we said earlier with the Nets, at least there seems to be this new refurbished attitude. And people were excited when the Knicks made the decision to get rid of Phil Jackson. But now at the same time, it's like, oh, it's the same old Knicks. They don't really know how they're going to wind up going forward into the future. Steve Mills, I don't think, necessarily knows that too. And a lot of it is an indictment on James Dolan. I think he's one of the worst owners in all of sports. Uh, he just meddles way too much. He doesn't really know how to allow the players, not necessarily the players, but the people that run the front office to do their jobs. Um, you know. And then as far as bringing Hardaway Jr. in here, I think that Nick fans will be pleasantly surprised when they see the way that he's going to wind up playing for the Knicks. Because you're right. I mean, if you saw him play towards the end of the season, especially in the playoffs for the Atlanta Hawks, he was like night and day as opposed to what he was playing when he was playing here with the Knicks. He's a very good ball player. Now, I think obviously they pay, overpaid him a little bit, but you know, this is what you expect when you get the Knicks, with the, with the Knicks <laughs> nowadays. So.